today I'm going to take my new Derwent Inktense Paint Pan Travel Set out for a test. I'm actually going outside in the day. This is new. I was woken up after only four hours of sleep by construction in the apartment below me. Irritated, I needed to get away from the noise. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to try the new Inktense Paint Pan Travel Set. Right away, once I was out on the trail, I got to meet this gorgeous guy. My trip was already off to a great start. Look at that face. Never been a huge fan of painting outdoors. You have to drag out an easel, canvas, paper, paint, or paint thinner, depending on the medium, water, brushes, and then fight with your easel blowing over, and bugs, and it's just never really been my thing. It all seems like such a hassle, so much more so than just staying in my, my studio and painting. When Derwent sent me this Inktense travel set to try out, I didn't think I would personally get much use for it, given my love, or lack thereof, of painting outdoors. I think that this thing really changed my mind. It's super compact. My pad of paper took up more space in my bag than this set did. I didn't need an easel or extra brushes. I just painted with everything on my lap. The lid doubles as a palette area for mixing your colors, and with the colors included, you can mix any color you could possibly want. I do wish it came with a white, so next time I will include one of my white Inktense block pieces. I'm just going to stick that in the travel pan. There's plenty of room for that. So that's the only thing that I'm going to change for my own use. It comes with a water brush that is slightly modified from Derwent's other water brushes and that it breaks down into two halves so it fits in the travel set. It has a little cap on it so that the water doesn't leak out when you fill it before you leave. I was in such a rush to get away from the noise from the construction that I forgot to bring my extra bottle of water. It got left on the countertop at home. So that was a little bit frustrating because the water pen itself doesn't hold that much. So common sense says bring a bottle of water with you that you can fill that up with and I left that at home. So I was definitely limited as I worked. I had to be very, very careful not to use too much water in the pen because what I had there was all I had for the entire project. So I think if I would have brought more water with me, I would have sat out there a lot longer painting because it was such an enjoyable experience. I didn't want to go home. It was so nice outside. I was honestly tempted to climb down and get to the creek to try to fill the water pin with water from that, but decided with how clumsy I am, there was a very good chance I would fall in and break my ankle or something fun like that. So I decided against it. Once I sat down and started painting, I can't even begin to express the peace and joy that filled me, which was a big deal because the day for me started off so negatively. This was something I was just not expecting. I originally looked at making this video as one that I wanted to make, but I didn't expect to have so much fun for with doing this. Elation is probably a better word. I mean, once I started putting color on that paper. It was just an incredible, incredible feeling. And I wasn't trying to create the most amazing artwork ever. It was just relaxing to sit outside and play with my art supplies. While painting, I was actually already planning when I could come back and do it again, which is just so crazy for me given how much I previously disliked painting outside. It really was that much fun. Like, Seriously, maybe I can do this every day. I'm trying to figure out how to fit that into my schedule. I had so much fun. Without a doubt, this will be my setup of choice every single time. This solved my previous complaints about working outside, of having to drag out all of these supplies. Everything I need is in this tiny little set. I mean, it has the palette, it has the brush, it has the paint colors. All I need to bring in addition to that, well, besides my bottle of water, is that pad of paper. I do recommend going with a nice watercolor paper. The one that I used was 140 pounds. It's the Strathmore Vision watercolor paper, and it was nice because it didn't warp at all no matter how much water I put on the paper. It just held up really well for this project. And I worked on a six by nine inch pad, which was a nice set. It wasn't too big, wasn't too small. It was just perfect for this, this project. As I mentioned, my goal for this was just to go sit outside, paint, and enjoy myself. There was no pressure to create the best painting ever or even anything remotely good. Just sitting outside and painting was almost meditative and how peaceful I felt listening to the wind blow through the trees, the water running, the birds chirping. It was just such an amazing experience that I, I really was not expecting to enjoy so much. 
If you ever find yourself in a place where you don't feel motivated, if you're not in the right mindset that you want to be in, or you just need a change of pace, I can't recommend going outside to paint enough after what I experienced today. This is going to be something that I do at least once a week from here on out. I want to try to see if I can do it even more than that. I cannot wait to get back out there with my little travel set. On the days where the weather isn't great and I don't really want to head out to the trail, I think that I'm going to end up painting out on my balcony. Just being outside to work brought a shift that motivated me in for my other work, for my more detailed paintings that I'll do in my studio. I felt refreshed and ready to tackle my next project in a way I've not experienced in a very long time. I do recommend when you leave to paint outside, double check that you've got everything with you that you want. In this case, you can see I forgot to bring my tripod with me for that camera. So I apologize for the shake there. But again, you can see how much fun this was, even with forgetting in half the stuff that I wanted to bring. It was, the whole trip was just so, so worth it. And just made such a turnaround for my entire day. It started just so negative and ended just being one of the best days I've had in forever. And just for transparency, Derwent did provide me with the travel set to test, but I wasn't paid otherwise to make this video. The opinions in this video are all my own. I know I start sounding like an advertisement when I get really excited about something, but I can't help it. These really were that amazing. I am so, so glad they made these. Using my regular ink tents would have been a pain to take with me out on a trail like this. This is the perfect solution to all of the things that I previously didn't like about painting outdoors. Have you subscribed yet? If not, I have a handy button right there. It's round, has an orange arrow going towards it. If you click on that, that'll help you to keep up to date with all of my new art videos every single week. You may also want to click on the, the bell icon or my email newsletter to make sure you get notified because YouTube's kind of hit or miss on whether or not they let you know if I've got something new going up. My email newsletter goes out once a week, so you'll be sure to be notified then.